Hello, world. What is up? Welcome to Build. I'm your host, Matt Forte, and we're here live at the Build Studio in New York City. Our next guest, man, has a lot going on. She's here to tell us all about her first U.S. tour and a brand new EP. Uh, she also hosts Lip Sync Battle Shorties, has an animated show on Nickelodeon's YouTube, an ongoing series of books, uh, an accessories line available at major retailers, including her famous bows, a doll made in her likeness, a collection of food and snacks called Lunch Kits, uh, and, and, get this, she just learned how to drive. I, honestly, I don't know how she does it all. But what I do know uh, is this. This is her second time on the show. She has the most positive and awesome energy in the world, and I'm super excited she's back once again. The great JoJo Siwa is in the house, folks. How about that? We excited that JoJo's here? <laughs> excited for JoJo? You're excited. Yeah. This is JoJo. It's, it's her. The Bo -bo. one. She's here. Right here. Right in this seat. That very chair. That she's sitting. It, no one could argue otherwise. True statement right this there. This is an irrefutable fact. JoJo has arrived. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> JoJo, thank you. Thank you so much for coming back and hanging out with us. How yeah. awesome is this? Uh, congratulations. I was saying to you upstairs in the green room, you've got a trillion and one things going on right now. Literally. Literally have yes. a bazillion things happening. I counted. It is a trillion and bazillion. That's exactly how many things you have going on right now. Didn't know that was a number. It's, Love that yeah, for us. Yeah, we've invented it to <laughs> quantify how many things you're doing. You're doing so many, so things. many things. But it's wonderful. What a great uh, problem to have, to have so Thank many you. things. Yes, no, um, it is a good problem, I will admit. <laughs> I want to start with one of the one of the big things we just watched, that music video. It was yes. wonderful, so much fun. Uh, tell me about making that music video. So that music video, D-R-E-A-M, was so awesome. Filming it was great. You know, it was kind of like, not really a different music video for me, but it was like one of the big music videos for me. So that was that was really cool to get into another one of those. But we got to use the Heelys in it, which I'm obsessed with. I love Heelys. And so I was like, let's do these in a music video. And they were like, Okay, and so then we incorporated it with the dance, and it, it turned out amazing. A lot of practice with the Heelys? Did it take time, or has it always been easy? You know, I've actually been doing Heelys since I was probably like four or five. Like, yep. I've been on Heelys for a very long time, and then I took a break with them, and then just probably about like three months ago, I was like, I want to get some new Heelys. So I got new yep. Heelys, and ever since then, I just roll and you can't catch me. <laughs> That's fantastic. Um, so, okay, we got the new Heelys. That's a big deal. That's a big part of the video. Yes. I read somewhere, and maybe I got the videos mixed up, but you said you did your own stunts in this one? Do you do a stunt for this? In this one, yeah, I did do my own stunt. So this one, the part where I jump through the screen, that was me jumping off of, <laughs> I don't know if I should share this, but I'm going to anyways. A little bit of magic. It was, no, it was not magic. It oh, was, no. <laughs> I mean, it was magic. It was me jumping, you know, like movie theater chairs? Yeah. I stood on top of them. Of course, saw that. And there was a big mat. Yeah. Like a big, big, big cushiony mat. Yeah. And I jumped off of the edge of the movie theater chairs on top of the mat. Literally okay. full belly flop on Very it. safe, though. Yeah, and my, no, no, not at all. But my indoor <laughs> skydiving skills no. actually came in handy there. Like, I hit the perfect belly flying position. So you didn't need a trampoline or anything like that? Just a, That was just a regular, that was all from you? Just totally like three, two, one jump. jump. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's a heck of a jump. That was a really Thank good you. jump. Thank you. That's that's my indoor <laughs> skydiving skills right there. What would you say made this, um, aside from the stuff we already discussed, you think of all the music videos you've made so far, what made this the, the most different or biggest, or was there something you learned making this video that was really exciting? You know, I think for me, what was really cool about this music video, how, how, how it, like... All my stuff has had, like, a big, big, big story behind it, you know? And this one had, like, a big story, but it was kind of like a fantasy, if that makes sense, you know? Like, it was me in a total other world. Like, you can't just jump through a movie screen and then automatically be in the movie. But, like, all my other music videos are super realistic, so it was really cool to have this one be in a fantasy land, almost. Where'd you get that idea from, to jump through the movie screen and be on the big screen? You know, so the original idea for it was to have it be, like, a drive-in movie theater, so it was would have been, like, 50s -y <laughs> theme. Much harder to jump into that screen. Very much harder. It would have had to be like a run and like fly into the screen. Definitely need a trampoline at that point. Yes, thousand percent. But so I was like, okay, how can we do that but make it like today's yeah. age? And like I literally listened to the lyrics and I was like, see my face on the screen, see my name in the lights, gotta focus on your passion if you want to get it right. And I was like, okay, that's literally the lyric. Like I, I see myself, I see the screen and I want to go in the screen. How am I going to do that? Just bring it to life. Just do it up. Jump. 
Let me ask you, with, all, with the trillion bazillion things you have going on, is, is that one big thing that's still on the, on the timeline for you? Still in the, like, I wanted, you want to do a big movie? You want to do a big action movie? What kind of movie would you want to do if you did a big movie? If I did a big movie, I would probably either want to do a comedy movie. That's what I was thinking. Or a biopic. Ooh. I love true stories, I like about people. Oh, hang on. Who do you, who do you want to portray? Who would you play? Oh, my gosh. Who would I put? Oh, wow. That's a tough one. I put you on the spot. Okay, no. If I could play anyone, anyone, it would be different. But, like, if I'm picking off of my character and my looks, yeah. then it would also still be different, you know? So, like, that's going to depend. Like, for my looks, I feel like I could go for, like, a young Miley Cyrus or a young Britney Spears or yeah. a young um, Lady Gaga. Like, I feel like I could be that. But if I could play anybody, anybody. even though they already just did it, anybody. Freddie Mercury. Oh, wow. Really? Yes, my favorite human. Do you next sing? Next to my family. Do you ever try guys. to sing? <laughs> Uh, family, Freddie Mercury. Yes. Yeah. Family, family, friends, Freddie Mercury. Fra family, friends, Freddie Mercury. <laughs> yeah, Perfect. Yeah, that yeah. makes well, that makes a little. Well, hang on. Where does Bobo fit in there? You got fam family. Okay. She's family. She's, She's family. family. Okay. Bobo's, Bobo's family. Just wanted to make sure we're gonna get and to that in a you second. You wouldn't consider her family, and you're one of those kind of people. Then she would be number one friend. She's number one friend. Yes. Fair enough. Do you often try? Have you tried to sing uh, Freddie Mercury songs? Can you sing Queen songs? They're very hard. Very challenging. Every day. Yeah. Every single day I sing it. Every single day. Mm. Literally. And I can give you as many Freddie quotes as you want. I can recite as many lines from the movie as you want. Literally. I, I am a huge... I'm going to put you... Give me one Freddie quote. Go. One Freddie quote? Oh, my gosh. So much on the spot. Okay, I got this. He, so an interviewer asked him. He, he didn't... I mean, from what I could see from, like, videos and interviews, he didn't really like interviewers, which I don't know why. I love them. I think they're cool. I think you're great. Oh, thank you. Um, I think but, no... What? You're, you're wonderful. <laughs> that was so sweet. You didn't have to do that. Go on. No, but a, lot of, a lot of celebrities do get t often like, oh, oh, this is not fun. I don't want to do this. It that, can be hard for some it people. It can definitely yeah. be hard. So Freddie was with an Who just walked in dressed as me? I don't know. Do people just walk in dressed as you? Two <laughs> older boys just walked in dressed as me. It's going to be everything. I can't wait to see that. I didn't, Anyways, I didn't sorry. catch that, but I'm very excited for that. <laughs> yeah, me too. Me too. That looked very fun. Anyways, so Freddie's sitting with an interviewer, and the interviewer goes, hey, like, are you going to sit? Like, give us a demonstration, because he was doing a concert. And Freddie goes, see? I told you! Wait, did they just come they in? They just came in! Oh, my goodness. Hello. Hi. Welcome. Uh <laughs> I am obsessed with this. Okay, hang on. We are obviously going to spend a serious amount of time figuring out and unpacking this moment. But first, finish your Freddie finish Mercury. My, finish my quote. Yes. Okay. So then Freddie goes, <laughs> Freddie goes, well, are you paying me? And they were like, no. And he was like, then no demonstration. Like, he was, yeah. yeah. Brilliant. Uh, first of all, my mind. kudos, because I did put you on the spot, and you delivered. Thank it was you. incredible. You want more? I could deliver all day long. <laughs> I would make you do one more. But we have a limited amount of time. True and as we've said, trillion, billion things. So we've got uh, this amazing music video, which, of course, features D-R-E-A-M from your amazing EP, which is like your first EP proper. First, You can't stop looking. Look at you. You can't. We're going to get to it. I don't know We're what it is either. I know. We're going to get We're going to discover together. But let's talk about real quick. The, yeah. the EP, so exciting, Thank so amazing. You. Collection of music, four songs. Were there any songs that you really wanted to put on there but couldn't fit, didn't have time? How'd you get to these four? There are so many songs that yeah. I can't wait to release. Oh, so they're on the way. Oh, they're on the way. I have, okay, I have definitely, I have a, already recorded, I have four songs. Four songs that are still in the bank. Maybe. And then I have three, I think, that are written. Anyways, but yeah, no, the four songs that are coming, I literally cannot wait for. I'm so excited. They're probably my favorite kind of round of songs yeah. in a really long time. Like, they're my top, top, top songs, and I'm pumped up about it. That's so exciting. Are you playing, and I imagine all those songs you're playing on your tour, which is going yes. to be happening very, very soon. Yes, so Jonas with D-R-E-A-M, the tour is happening very, very soon. It's May is when it starts. Yeah. It starts around my birthday. Actually, the second show in Los Angeles is on my birthday, May 19th. Oh, how wonderful. It's gonna be it's gonna be really fun. My sweet sixteen. It's big. It's a big day. That's a huge deal. Yes, yeah. big deal. Anyways, and then today we just announced so that tour has twenty four stops. Sold and out. And then sold out. First day completely sold out. And then today we just announced that finally I'm going on twenty eight more shows. That's right. You just. I want to hold for applause. I heard some clapping yeah, there. You. Go ahead. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So. Now I'm doing, I'm going to be on the road for a total of 80 days for this That's round of stuff. That's wild. Isn't that 80 crazy? days. It goes 40 days, then a nine-day break, and then 40 days. Are, what do you, how do you feel about that? Are you nervous? Are you excited? You know, it's a big I, deal. a lot of people who have done bus tours are like, 
yeah, it's fun. You're gonna love it. And I think for me, I'm like, this is the first one. I think I'm genuinely going to love it so much. And I think I'm gonna have the best time of my life for 80 days. And it's gonna be a new thing for me. And I'm not gonna understand it at first, but then I'm gonna get used to it. And it's gonna be so awesome. My friends are gonna be with me. My family's gonna be with me. Bobo's gonna be with me. Like, right, exactly, exactly. And I got fun things planned for the bus rides. I got 80s karaoke nights. I got, I got Friday night FaceTimes. I got all the things planned. So you're still going to be uh, just churning out videos and making amazing stuff, sharing with your fans the yes. whole time. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. YouTube is one of the things while I'm on tour that I'm going to have to stay super, super focused and work super hard on because it's going to be hard to upload essentially every single day is what I do. So yeah. I got I to gotta keep it up and I got to work hard, but I can do it. I can, can right. D-R-E-A-M it. Yeah, I was just going to say you could D-R-E-A-M it. That's amazing. Uh, have you started rehearsals yet for the tour? Have you started getting ready? We have not started rehearsals. We've yeah. started uh, starting up with creativity and stuff, but we have not started actual rehearsals yet. And surprisingly, they won't really start until the beginning of May. Yeah. Oh, really? The beginning of May? Yeah. The tour end, starts end of, in May. End of April, end? middle of April, yeah. but more so the beginning of May. Wow. Isn't that crazy? That is pretty crazy. I would have thought, like, you know, 80 days, like a lot now. of music. Yeah, like yeah. now. I thought, like, right now. Like, yeah. you took a no, break. No, if it was up to me, we'd be starting now, literally. Are you doing, like, your own little personal practices at home, just getting yourself ready? You know, uh, yeah, when I turn on Freddie Mercury, I'm just living my life. Living your best <laughs> no, life. I do, I do, though. Literally, my family, they call it the performances. And every night, they're like, George, are you going to do a performance for us? Are you going to do a performance? And, like, come on. Literally, one night, I did a two-hour performance of a combination of my music and Queen music, literally for two hours. The show ended at 11 o'clock at night. It was very fun. Anybody leave early to beat traffic or no? People were in seats in the living room in until seat. the end. Kitchen. Kitchen. Kitchen, kitchen, kitchen. table. Okay. Yes. They're on the kitchen table. You did a two-hour nonstop performance. Yep. Freddie Mercury in your own mashups? Were you mashing part? things up? I didn't even control the songs. No, they just my kept going. Just feed you. And just she just you. kept playing different songs, and I just kept going, and I was living my best life. You've been doing that your whole life, haven't you? Just having a ball. You no, know, it's it, so funny. Like, my mom was like, you used to do this when you were two years old. Yeah. And I was like... Yeah, I did. Like, and I'm still doing it now. Like, it's still fun. Uh, you know, so we've got the tour. We've And where can people, by the way, I think everybody already knows this, but where can they get the information about the tour? I wrote it down here, uh, jojodreamtour.com, right? Yes, so how yeah. the tour tickets work is basically there's going to be a fan club pre-sale for everyone who's in my Seawinators email fan club, and they'll be able to get tickets tomorrow. Amazing. With special pre-sale code. So if you want to sign up for the email fan club, you have to do it, like, literally right now so you don't miss out on this. You can go to itsjojosiwa.com, I-T-S-J-O-J-O-S-I-W-A.com. F pretty simple. And then, and then the next day, which is the 13th, American Express card holders are able to get tickets. And then after that is the 14th, which is Friday, and everyone will be able to get tickets on Friday at JojoDreamTour.com. So see Winators tomorrow. Yes. Amex card the day after that. Yep. And then rest of the world the yep. day after and that. And last time we put tickets out, the day they went out to the rest of the world, sold out within minutes. I was trying to get tickets to the L.A. show because I'm going to want to invite literally a million of my friends. I couldn't get tickets. That's nuts. What Wait. happens What happens when you can't get tickets to your own show? Yeah. What do you do? Still trying to figure that one out myself. <laughs> when you figure it out, you let us know. I will let you know. I'm going to try to get some in the other California areas. Like, I know I'm going to Anaheim. I know I'm going to Santa Barbara. Yeah. A couple of my friends are from Santa Barbara, so they'll go to that show, hopefully, too, also with the Los Angeles show. But it is my birthday on the California show, so I'm going to be like, Hey, security, let them in. Let them in, yeah. How, uh, let me ask you, outside of the local shows, outside of the home shows, is there a place you haven't been yet that you're really excited to go and perform? You know, I'm not going here, but I want to go to Hawaii. I'm not performing in Hawaii, Next but tour. I want to go to Hawaii. Next yes, tour. so bad. Uh, I'm really excited to go to Canada, actually. I love Canada. Oh, yeah. People up there are very nice, from what I understand. Very nice, eh? See, exactly. Oh, you'll fit right in. Perfect. Eh? Um, we're going to go to the audience in just a couple of minutes. Uh, there's still a few more billion things to sort through here that you've been working on. I just saw this was really neat. Lunch kits. You've got, of all the things, I couldn't believe it. This is so cool. You've got your own I set of, like, Jojo lunch. Jojo food. Jojo food. Jojo food. <laughs> How did that happen? How did you get Jojo food? You know? <laughs> Yeah. Have you tried it? Have you eaten the JoJo food? The JoJo food, yes, I have. I actually, no, I did, I did feel my reaction to it for the first time. Um, So I got the JoJo food. I saw it in stores, and then I ended up getting it in the mail, and it's so good. Yeah? Literally, it's amazing. Have you ever had the animal crackers that used to be at McDonald's? That, like, you, we've all had them. It's been a while, but I've had them. Yeah, you I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. Or do you remember Little Caesars, the ones that they had? Yes. Yes, the ones that they had, how they're, like, super sweet and good? 
almost like the same you ones. Like captured that. Yes, they're so good. They're so sweet and so yummy. Oh, I could live off of that. Is that is that the most surprising thing you've seen that has JoJo bows on it? Like you were like, oh my god, I have my own food. No. That's so amazing. Oh wait. Well, oh then, no. Oh uh, no. Tell me this story. I think for me the most interesting JoJo merches that are out there are definitely the JoJo underwear. Those are a fun one. Yeah. Um, the JoJo three in one shampoo conditioner. <laughs> And body wash, crazy foam is what it's called. Five below, you can go get that now. That was a pretty crazy thing to see my face on. Uh, I, I mean, just like everyday things that you would never imagine from erasers, like just yeah. so many things, like so you would many never. Things. Yeah. And it all started with a bow. Everything started with a bow. Everything Isn't that crazy? With a bow. a bow and a D R E A M. A D R E A M is fantastic. Last thing I want to ask you about, because this was just so cool, and I think it's happened since you and I last got a chance to hang out, is the the animated show yes. on, on uh, Nickelodeon's YouTube. It, to see you as a cartoon is so so cool. What has that been like? How did you how did you make the cartoon? What did you think the first time you saw yourself as a cartoon? You know, it's actually crazy. The cartoon is so cool. It's my first time, and of course, Bobo's first time ever being animated. Uh, but so the JoJo and Bobo Show Show, I I think my favorite part about it is how I'm the voice of every character that's in the show. I thought so. So if you see me, it's me. If you see Bobo, it's me. If you see any other dog in it, it's me. If you see airplane passengers, it's me. If you hear an airplane pilot, it's me. Every single character is me, which is really cool. I like that. I mean, I think that's really fun. It shows my different voices that I can have in life. Uh, you have so many talents. Thank so, you. So many talents. Thank you. Thank what, you. What are the vocal, what are the recording sessions like? How is that different for you than, than when you get to do something at home and you get to do a, a YouTube video or something? You know, it's different for me because I, there's people there who know what they're doing. Yeah. And I don't necessarily because it's not, I mean, I've never done animated before. So it was like not really my field of expertise, as yeah, one might say. Me, and so it was cool going in there and just being like, okay, I got to trust these people and I got to do what they say. Like if I was at home, I'd just go back and forth and I'd be like, hey, everyone, it's JoJo and Bobo. And this is the JoJo and Bobo Show Show. Yo, yo. So today I'm so excited because my favorite person on the planet is here. Is it me, mommy? Like, so like I just keep going, but we had to do them all separate. You do them all separate. Yes, do every single line separate. It's crazy. And that was crazy. hard for you to do. Do they give you the other line back so you know who you're talking to? Sometimes, Sometimes. they will, yeah. Sometimes yeah. they will. Other times it's just like we'll do all the JoJo lines and, and then, then we'll do all, all the, the Bobo, Bobo lines. lines. Yeah, but other times when we have to do pickups, they'll feed me in and then I'll keep going and then, yeah. Last question. Do you ever get tired? No. God, you're, that's amazing. All right. Yesterday, <laughs> yesterday I got about two and a half hours of sleep and today I got about four and a half hours of sleep. Hold on to that for as long as you can, Joe. Joe, we're going to go ahead. We've got some questions in the audience right now. Uh, the first one's going to be right here. Go for it. Hi, Jojo. Michael David. Um, congratulations. I've been watching you literally since the start on Abby's Ultimate Dance Competition. Thank so you. congratulations on the new tour. So from being on Dance Moms and performing every single week at different competitions and all the different lessons that you've learned, what would you say is the most valuable piece of lesson that you're going to take on tour with you? Oh, my gosh. Great question. Honestly, how to just... Go, how to just do it, go nonstop. Like from Dance Moms, we were talking about this the other day, like Abby herself has taught me so much just from being able, A, how to sit in a meeting, from B, how to put my napkin on my lap. You know, just like little things to big things that I'm so, so, so grateful and so, so, so thankful for. And I literally probably couldn't live without right now. But if I, I had to pick one thing, it would probably be how to just go and not stop and that I will sleep when I'm in the grave. <laughs> Love that. Is that what you think of? We have two more. We're going to get them in a second. Is that what you think? When, whenever you find yourself presented with a challenge or when something is hard, is that what you think of? Just go. Just keep going. Just, just keep, keep going. Push. Just keep going. Eventually, I'll be able to sleep. But right now, I got one life to live, and I'm going to live it to the fullest. I don't think I've ever seen anybody living their life to the fullest more than you do. Thank and it's you. So, it's that's, so that's awesome. That's my goal in life. It's I try. so awesome to see all the stuff that you do and the, the great energy you bring. We've got, what, two more? Next one. Oh, my goodness. Go right Love ahead. This. Right here in the front row. Hi, JoJo. How much bows do you have? How many bows? I have a lot of bows. So in the JoJo bow collection, there's over 7,000 bows. Isn't that crazy? That's how many people are in this room right now? 7,000? Yeah, no, I'm kidding. You can't tell at I home, so I lie about it all the time. A little, little, little less than A little that. less, but again. But yeah, no, the, the bows are crazy. Un unbelievable. 7,000. And it's crazier how even many, I don't know the exact number that's been What's made. Oh, yeah, well, about that. Uh, I like anything with sequins on it, any of the sequins ones. I love those. Hang on. What's your favorite? Do you have a favorite bow? Are you wearing it right now? Yeah. Yeah? That one matches your outfit really good. That is a beautiful bow. You did a great job. 
Yeah. That was a great question. What did you think of that question? I thought that was a great I, question. I thought it was a perfect question. That was a perfect What's your question. Name? What's your name? Jazzy. Jazzy? That's one of my best friend's names. <laughs> you said cute. Jazzy, you are wonderful. We have, what do you got? One more? We're going to do one more. Let's find the microphone. Where? Oh. Thank heavens. Come on down. I Hi. love you too. Thank you. We love you. Wait, hold on. Can they come up here so they can see? Can you just face oh the God. camera? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Just, just show. Just show oh, we're, we're getting them. We're getting them. We got a clear okay, shot. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. I'm obsessed. This yes, is wonderful. We're obsessed with you. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, legend. Um, so essentially, my name is Izzy. This is Poppy. Uh, hey, Poppy. We just wanted to know, are you aware you're a gay icon? Thank you. And how do you feel about that? I love it. You know, I love I love the community. I love that I, I just feel comfortable around everyone. And I want everyone to feel comfortable around me, if that makes sense. And I just love that I have the ability to connect with all those people and that they know that I love them for who they are and that I support them for who they are. And I just, I love that between the kids wearing the JoJo merch, all of you guys, and of course you too, like this room just makes me so happy right now. It's just, it's so awesome. Everyone's so different, everyone's so unique, and I love you all. Hey, oh, I, 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 don't, I don't even know what to say. Like, yeah. I'm obsessed with you two. Absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. Um, I'm getting the signal. We could do this all day, obviously. Why don't we? Uh, we have more shows. I've got to keep. We got to keep going. We got to keep going. I've got to take a page yeah. out of your book, and we got to just keep day. going. Yes. Uh, and that being said, uh, we're gonna wrap things up. But I want to thank everyone. I want to thank you all for being here and being uh, so awesome. Uh, wonderful audience and having great questions. I want to thank you, Jojo. Thank you for, thank for coming you. and hanging out with of us course. and thank inspiring all me. of us to keep going and doing all the great things you do. One last time, where do people go to find the tickets, Jojo? They go. To JojoDreamTour.com. JojoDreamTour.com. Uh, get your tickets right now. Listen to the EP for the millionth time if you haven't already. And one more time, everybody together, ridiculous amount of noise for the great Jojo Siwa. Right here. <laughs>